Good morning, Morning Musings by Melinda. Hey, you've heard that saying that it's a woman's prerogative to change her mind. Have you ever thought, though, if the brain is a mechanism of the body, as in a computer bank that you, you know, put data into, you receive data when you're a child, you receive data from teachers and parents and siblings and so on, and you tuck it in that brain, how do you change your mind? Well, the truth is, is that your mind is not in your body. Your, your mind kind of res resides above you here, kind of hovers here. And that's why in religious pictures, they depict, you know, Christ and Mary and Joseph and angels and so on with a halo, because what that means is that they're in their divine mind. And when you're working the way that I work, you are working from your higher power or your mind, connecting to somebody else's mind because you use that energy in order to get to the other side. So that's why when you're watching readings um, that you might see some people connect more than others. It just depends on, you know, how we're meeting in the collective consciousness. It's also why when you're thinking of somebody that lives across the country, that as you're thinking about them, they could call you right at that moment because your mind is connecting to their mind. So, you know, because the mind is not really a mechanism of the body, part of us is always living outside of this life support system or the suitcase that houses our being while we're on the earth plane. That means that you can always change your mind as a function of who you are at the level of your thought process by, you know, working into that higher power. That's the whole premise of AA and, and some of those um, programs that teach about reaching the higher power. So I just thought you would be interested in, in finding out where your mind is. And so uh, as you're meditating, you connect into that mind and that helps change some of the negative thought process that you may have. So connect with your divine mind. Hey, um, tomorrow night, I'm going to be, is it tomorrow night? Today's Tuesday, right? Yeah. Um, tomorrow night, I am going to be on with John Crowley. And I know that that's always a wonderful time. Um, I think we're going to continue to do it at 630 because then John and I can get a couple hours in. But on my Wednesday night shows, we're going to change that time to 7 p.m. and make it a little bit later because of the changes in time. Um, and I hope that that will be okay with you. But I think some of you that are here may still be finishing up supper and getting the kids organized with homework and stuff at 6.30. So we're going to change that just a little bit. Um, what else do I have to tell you this morning? I guess that's it. Um, make sure that you're meditating to connect to the essence of your divine mind so that you can change any negative thought process. Because remember, the law of attraction is absolute. When you're thinking negatively, you attract negatively. Have a great day.